Hello YouTubers. I've tooled a heating element for Bosch Neff Siemens dishwashers uh, for people that don't want to buy the whole plastic assembly with all the thermostat and micro switch and all the rubber and everything else. Just want to change the simple stainless steel heating element. And quite a few people buy them and um, they say, I get emails come through on eBay saying, oh, I've changed the element and it's still blowing a fuse. And I looked online, I just thought, well, I'll quick look online and see if I can direct them something online that says why it is. And I know why it is, because I've, I've got five or six of these things I look after in different houses. And um, one, if your uh, dishwasher blows the fuse um, five or six minutes into the uh, cycle, um, on a normal econo wash where you haven't got a pre-rinse, then it's um, probably this thing that's causing your problem. Now there's not much about this on the internet, so I thought I'd show it to you because it's quite an interesting thing. Actually, let's turn the solder nine on. Um, and if it blows the fuse, normally when the heating element goes, it goes open circuit and uh, you get no heat. So power is on the element, no heat at all. Or um, it trips out the uh, RCD, uh, the res residual current breaker on your on your circuit board. If you've got a newer house, like nearly all houses these days are fitted with a residual current breaker which uh, detects any imbalance between the current flowing down the live and neutral. What's going on with this system? I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Um, Start playing my video then about Dr. Johnson. Is that a sex toy? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so if there's any imbalance, i.e. any of the electricity in the heating element that goes through a metal tube, which is grounded, leaks to the actual ground outer sheath then it, it trips the trip out so mostly you get no heat at all or a if you've got an RCD um, you get the trip tripping out when the heater comes on right but if it blows the fuse in the plug then and you've got an RCD it must be something a short a current path between live and, and neutral not leaking to ground so there's no current going down the ground wire basically and it's this. Um, this is quite often the cause. And this is the <laughs> little actuator that opens up the flap where you put the dishwasher tab in. It's that grey flap, usually on Bosch ones, where you put this in, you close it, and then sometime during the wash, the lid pops open and uh, your dishwasher tablet falls out and then dissolves in the water and you get lovely clean dishes and stuff like that. And all the food gets mixed together in some kind of uh, horrible chemical soup um, to clean your dishes. Okay, so that's that's what this is and this is the little device which you can buy for about 20 pounds or 15 16 dollars on on um, various sites Amazon as well uh, eBay and other domestic electrical sites made in Italy always a bad sign you see it there and this is the actuator that opens up your flap when it wants to drop its your dishwasher tab out okay so if you've got the fuse blowing after 10 minutes or something um, and it, it's not the heating element. A lot of people assume it is and just change the heating element, but it isn't. It's uh, quite often this thing. And what's inside here, there's a spring, obviously, and a plunger. And you can see it's quite a, this plunger goes through and is inside there. And what you've got is just the end of that bit of plunger sticking out. And when this is actuated, mains goes across here. So it's 240 volt, 110 to 240, 50 to 60 Hertz. And what it is, is um, when you put the power on, a few minutes after, a minute or so after the power goes on, you'll see what happens. And this one has blown up, and the dishwasher was blowing fuses. And inside here is a positive temperature coefficient heating block. It's the same sort of heating block as you have in your, for example, in a glue gun, for example, has one of these in. And it's a aluminium, two aluminium plates with a sintered ceramic tile in between which is conductive and when that tile heats up the resistance increases so they go up to a, a temperature and then they stabilize so like your glue gun it would be no good if it carried on heating at 200 watts as it goes uh, the temperature increases the resistance of the heating block the ceramic sinter block in between you can see them on this diagram um, increases in resistance and you come to an equilibrium where it doesn't get any hotter and it just stays hot and you can leave the mains on it's taking a very small current okay so if I if you open one of these, be careful because this flies out at a rate of knots. It's uh, it's quite quite alarming. And of course, this can be found underneath the front cover of your dishwasher, behind the flap or the sliding case where the uh, 
the uh, soap tablet is located all right so if we just pull it apart it's clipped together so there's these various clips here but I've had this one apart already I'll just show you what's inside it's quite it's quite interesting I never really thought about what was in there before um, but this latest escapade unfortunately my spare dishwasher had already been used and so I was in the position of having to do emergency uh, dishwasher repair uh, to get the dishwasher working for the customer okay so what in what's in there is um you can see there's a lot of um explosion gone in there and in there normally is a is a heater block but it's completely disintegrated it's just the stumps of it left and a lot of dust and muck and when i took the spring out the whole lot just flew out it looks something like this bit of it anyway and then there's this thing which is quite interesting this is the actual piston and if I just um, show you, that's where the heater block was glued on. So onto that surface is a live and neutral aluminium plate with the sintered block in between. And when you put mains on it, it opens up. But just watch this, it's quite interesting. This, this, uh, I'm just gonna go into zoom mode because you want to see the full proudness of this. Right, so this, <laughs> this spring is quite strong. So it takes a lot of force to push against this spring. This here a spring there it's quite a strong spring so this thing has got some power behind it and I'm just gonna put the soldering iron on this and you can watch what happens soldering iron set to 320 degrees so I'm simulating the block heating up not very impressive to start with is it come on baby you can do it don't be shy are you gonna go for me? Actually, I've got a nice new blue bench. What do you think about my blue bench covering that I've put on? Because the other ones are getting like well damaged. Here it goes. Ah, oh, it's pleased to see me. <laughs> if I take that off there, it will carry on going for a little while as the heat gets through and it'll stop. And it'll start going back in. A bit more heat. Whoops. Have you guessed what's in there yet? No, well what's in there is, it won't retract on its own, when it cools down, I don't think it will retract, let's try a bit of freezer spray on it, where's the freezer spray, there it is, be careful with this stuff, it's not the Freon type, it's bloody methane, I found that out to my, <laughs> to my, to my um, shock when I had a minor explosion, methane explosion, but cool it down. See, it doesn't go back. It relies on the spring to shove it back in. But it comes out a bit further than that, but I wouldn't want to overstress it. There you go, so it goes back in. And if I heat it up again, the wax will boil. So I've just let the, the cat out of the bag there. There's wax inside there. And when you heat it up, the wax boils and pushes the piston out. But you can get a lot of force from one of these. And I was thinking, what else could you use it for? But that's the reason why Bosch dishwashers blow fuses when you uh, it tries to open the flap. And usually what it will do, quite often, you change the fuse thinking, well, I can't find out what it is. Change the heat element, and then the fuse and the plug goes again, or the RCD, uh, the uh, current breaker trips out. It doesn't blow the um, RCD. It um, blows the current trip in the, in the fuse box. And it'll do it a few times until eventually this thing in here gets vaporized. And then you think, oh, I fixed it. The water's heating up, and it's all going nicely. But when you go to open dishwasher, your flap hasn't actuated and um, your soap pellet is still in the a holder so you can buy these separately online and if you are blowing fuses and you get the, actually it's usually accompanied by a pretty nasty smell coming out the front panel of the dishwasher somewhere uh, and usually a bang as well when it goes and so that's what it is it's that so if you've got a Neff Bosch Siemens dishwasher that's uh, blowing fuses then whip the cover off and have a look, quick look at this thing. Um, there was evidence on this of the gases that had exploded out, so it looked a bit off colour and not very happy when I found it. So, yeah, that's what's inside. It's a little wax driven boiling wax piston to uh, compress this heavy spring to make the plunger come out the end. You can see how strong that spring is, it's amazing. Makes the pl plunger come out the end and uh, yeah, do the do for your, your soap tablet. So that's it, and 
Yeah, well, I hope you find that interesting. So if you've got a dishwasher blowing fuses and it's not tripping out the RCD, have a look at this, because it could be this that's causing it. And it's most likely because there are really three things on a dishwasher that can blow a fuse. No, the first one is the um, blower mains fuse. Is the first thing is the the, uh, the the element is shorted to ground and you don't have an RCD. If you have an RCD and it's blowing fuses, it's a short between live and neutral. And there's only two things. There's a filter block usually on side where the mains plug comes into the dishwasher. There's a little plug on filter block uh, right down the bottom corner where the cable comes in from the outside. And it's clipped on and it's uh, an, e an EMC RFI type filter and they go short and that will blow your mains fuse and uh, if you unclip it, it plugs into the back of where the wire comes in you can often see discoloration or it's cracked where it's expanded inside because of the heat that was generated when it went bang um, so that's the first, the, the, the heating elements first thing if you haven't got an RCD the second thing is this uh, filter block and the third thing that can blow a fuse, a 13 amp fuse, is this soap actuator plunger assembly thingy alright, so I hope you found that interesting um, if you've got any comments, questions, then stick them in the uh, usual place. And if you can subscribe down there, the uh, subscribe titty button down there, or leave me a like, I'd appreciate that. And I hope you found this quite useful.